this is an aerial view of my 4-bit calculator which I have recently finished uh, what it does it takes four two 4 bit numbers and either adds or subtracts them depending on what you choose uh, this here is the subtractor here is the adder this part uh, is the binary to decimal converter this whole building and that's still a part of it and over here this is the first display and the second display connects all the way here so let's take a closer look this is the input panel you can see this is the first 4-bit uh, number the operator second 4-bit uh, number so it's 1 5 13 it's on so that's plus and 5 18 on the display which you can see here and it's connected to the main part the adder and subtractor through this long underground tunnel so let's go there now This is the subtractor, uh, the first part made out of dirt here. It's pretty simple. Uh, it just transfers the numbers, the inputs, if the subtractor is selected, which is now not, so it's all low. It just organizes it for the uh, truth subtractor, which is right here. The row of repeaters here are the inputs and the wood part does the calculations now you probably can't see much from here but you can see these are uh, XOR exclusive OR gates which are the main part of the subtractor and right here these four little light bulbs are the output because 4 bit minus 4 bit is 4 bit now the other Once again, the, the dirt part is just for organizing the inputs and the wood part is the true ad adder. Now, because I've selected the, the plus operator, the adding, you can see that the middle light bulb is high. And using end gates, I transferred that high value to the adder. Now this is, once again, you can see the repeaters here, they are the true inputs. And once again, this is the adder, you can see the X, that's the XOR gate. There are a few of them here, and I also have end gates for the carry. And the final result is over here. Now this is a 5-bit number, because 4-bit plus 4-bit is 5-bit. And now I have OR gates, which transfer the, the result, which I want to convert over here. Now, here you can see, that's 8, that's 2, and that's our number. And this here is a 4 floor building first second third and up there is the fourth and each part uh, contains eight numbers this one is 0 to 7 the second part is 8 through uh, 15 and so on and these little stairs here are the results now the ones lighted up are the ones that will get they are the actual results so here you can see 18 which is the number we got 
and if you follow it we can see that it breaks off into two parts now the first part is this stands for the the one digit the eight in the 18 and here you can see it's on now the other part is for the 10 the one in the 10 digit so it all comes together here into the displays now the left display is for the lesser number the right display is for the bigger the tens and you can see the 8 is on and if I follow it all the way there the tens will also be on now this is the decimal display decimal value and these bridges here uh, transfer it convert it into a seven digit output a seven segment I'm sorry which is uh, what the display uses it's like old calculators each number digit is this is used seven segment one two three four five six seven and there it is now I'll demonstrate how it, uh, the way it works you can see it's currently zero and zero because I have no inputs now I'll put 15 which is the highest 4-bit number plus 15 now you can see it's sync basically it's pretty interesting to note how it does these things uh, the mod used to make the display is glass light and here you can see it's 30 now let's try the subtraction uh, 13 minus 5 oops once again we'll see it work and 8 we can play with it a little 15 minus 11 which is obviously 4 and let's try just one more thing 10 plus 6 